Supply Director is available in three different packages. The first being Base Only. With the Base Only package, you'd receive all the cables necessary for connection to the Eagle Eye Base, the, mi the vertical microphone array. The second model available is the Base Plus One, meaning Base Plus One Eagle Eye 3 camera. This is your Eagle Eye camera that you would attach directly to the unit. The final version is the Eagle Eye Plus Two, which would come with two Eagle Eye 3 cameras. Setting up your Polycom Eagle Eye Director is accomplished in just a few easy steps. To start, you'll want to know what type of system you're connecting to, be it an HDX 6000, 7000, 8000, or the HDX 9000. If you're connecting to an HDX 9000, there's a special audio cable that is used for the 9000 that has Phoenix adapters. If you are not using an HDX 9000, you can put that cable aside and use the cable that is meant to be used with the other HDX systems. The very first thing you want to do is take the base unit out of the box along with the vertical microphone array. You'll notice immediately that there is a hole right in the back that will allow you to plug the vertical microphone array directly into the back. There's a small mini stereo jack that you'll be plugging into the base unit. And a very important piece of the operation is there's a screw on the very bottom that you'll want to turn uh, just a couple of times to tighten up the vertical array. Now it's time to attach the cameras to the base. In the small bag of hardware that was shipped along with your Eagle Eye Director, you'll find small screw-in knobs that look very, very much like this. On the very bottom of the camera, you'll find holes in the front that will allow you to screw in these two knobs. You do that for both cameras. And then you'll notice on the base of the Eagle Eye Director, there are a series of holes. The holes that you'll be attaching the camera to are these two and these two. The two inner center uh, holes that we have here may be used for future development work. So let's go ahead and attach the camera to the base. You'll want to make sure that your cameras fit snugly into the base unit. And as you can see, they're pushed all the way in and they are quite snug. Now it's time to attach your cables between the cameras and the base unit. To do so, you simply take the short cables that were shipped with the Eagle Eye Director. These are short HDCI cables. And again, make sure the cable is securely tightened to both the camera and to the base station. When you're ready to attach the camera on this side to the Eagle Eye Director base, you'll notice there are two HDCI ports. One of the HDCI ports runs to the codec, and one of the HDCI cables will be running right to the camera. And you'll see those represented graphically. The final step to getting your Eagle Eye Director to work with your HDX is again, plug in the HDCI cable from the base unit to your HDX system, plug in the power, and you'll also be plugging in an audio cable. This audio cable will plug into the Phoenix connectors on your Eagle Eye base and it will run to the audio output on your HDX. Now there are two types of audio cables, one specifically for the HDX 9000 series and one cable for all the other HDX systems. We ship an audio cable and connect it to your HDX so we're able to cancel out the audio from the far side. This is in case you're using an integrated audio system with speakers and so forth in the room, we want to make sure that the audio that is being located in the room is by participants in the room and not on the far side. Connecting the audio cable is quite simple. The first thing you'll do is plug in the male connectors of the Y cable to your HDX. The female connections will plug directly from the Y cable to your television monitor. Then the Phoenix connector plugs directly into the base of the Eagle Eye Director.
there's just a few simple steps left before you can start using your Eagle Eye Director. The first thing you'll want to do is calibrate your Eagle Eye Director. You'll find the calibration setting screens under Administration under Cameras. The instructions on the camera calibration screen will walk you step by step on what you need to do. It's quite easy to set up your camera calibration. You basically sit about six feet away from the, cam from the cameras. You aim the camera directly at your mouth. And you'll zoom all the way in. This is what I call the flattering shot. You'll align the crosshairs directly with your mouth and you'll choose begin calibration. One, two, three, four, five. And now your system is calibrated. The next step is to adjust your room view. The room view is the wide angle shot of the entire group. So remember, the Eagle Eye Director cuts between a wide shot of the entire room and the close up of the active speaker. You're going to adjust that wide shot at this time. To adjust the wide angle shot, you'd go back under the cameras page and go into the submenu which is called adjust room view. Here you simply just zoom in or zoom out based upon how you like your wide shot to look. Once that's completed, you simply hit the back key and back out. Your final adjustment is to select the voice tracking camera settings. This too is found on the camera's setup page. There are two different modes to voice tracking. One is called voice and one is called presets. When you select this system to voice, it will locate voices in a room and immediately go to that person's specific location. If you select presets, it will locate a voice that is coming from a preset location in the room. The final setting you need to do before you can start using your Eagle Eye Director is back all the way out and go to your near end camera view. You'll hit the options key on your remote control and go down and start voice tracking. Now your Eagle Eye Director is ready to start tracking voices. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've seen how Polycom's Eagle Eye Director can turn an impersonal meeting into a very personal experience using its voice location technology. For additional information on the Eagle Eye Director, please visit polycom.com.